husband says, let the husband render to his wife the affection due her, likewise the wife also to her husband. Now the affection due, let's talk about that. Uh, in some scriptures called the due benevolence. Let the husband render due benevolence, let the wife render what is due. Now, what is due? What is due? When you're courting, and see here courting right when you're dating? You say courting a long time ago. When you're courting and you're, you're, you're putting your best forward, what do you do? You open doors, you, you go place together, you listen to things, you study philosophy, you talk about the zodiac, you go to the quilt market, to the farmer's market, right? she goes to the gun show with you, you know? You do all of those things together. And you have a certain frequency if you do things twice a week or twice a day or three times a week or whatever. And if you spend money and time and however you do it, that's what's due. Whatever you were doing is, is due. That is the contract. Whether you agreed upon it or not, that's the expectation that what you've all, what we have been doing is due. And you know what it's like when something is due and you don't pay what is due? It becomes past due, doesn't it? <laughs> when you don't take yourself as due, you get a past due notice. And if you ignore the past due notice, stuff gets shut off, doesn't it? But the point is when something is due and you do not take care of what is due, it becomes past due. And when things are past due and you simply ignore them, there's going to be some shutoffs. Things are going to stop. So when the scripture says render to your spouse or render to each other the due benevolence, if you're not rendering what is due, what you've already agreed to do, it's always and still is due and current. That is what is due. Now verse number four, the wife does not have authority over her own body, but the husband does. And the men said, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't end there. There's more, there's more. And likewise, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but the wife does. So your body, whatever you have, does not belong to you, it belongs to the other. There's certain things, there's certain roles right there that you have, and if your role is that you supply, or you make good, you provide certain things in that role that only you're meant to provide. You're the one that provides whatever's meant to be provided in this role. That's your role. You can't ration out your provision. You can't bargain with your provision. You can't be manipulative with your provision. That is your role. It is to be given freely. That is your part on both sides. Because we try to apply this to one side but not the other side. If my role is to mow the lawn and do whatever, then that's my role. I cannot complain about anyone else's role that's not being met if I'm not meeting all of my role. It starts here. The responsibility starts here.